If you were wondering when the E-Class was going to get the cool stuff, well, wonder no more. I'm Chris from Auto Academics, and today we're going to take a look at a 2021 Mercedes-Benz E450 4Matic Cabriolet. Puxatani who? <laughs> Our seasonal prognostication is way more reliable because you know we get a convertible every winter. And here it is, the Cirrus Silver Metallic 2021 Mercedes-Benz E450 4Matic Cabriolet. Standard features include LED daytime running lamps, headlamps and tail lamps, power folding side mirrors, 4Matic all-wheel drive, black triple layer acoustic soft top, automatic trunk separator, and air cap wind blocker. Inside, you'll find fancy seating for four, dual zone automatic climate control, multicolor ambient lighting, new generation leather trim steering wheel, 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster, 12.3 inch widescreen display, Mercedes Me Connect services, Mercedes Benz user experience, MB Navigation, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Voice Control, What can I do for you? Sirius XM Radio with all access, Inductive Wireless Charging, Burmester Surround Sound System, Heated Front Seats, Black Headliner, Power Front Seats with Lumbar Support and Memory, Top Stitched MB Tech's Upper Dash and Door Trim, air scarf neck level heating system, and rain sensing windshield wipers with magic vision control. Safety and security features include attention assist, active brake assist, pre-safe predictive occupant protection system, crosswind stabilization, blind spot assist, pre-safe sound, not the actual sound, surround view system, parktronic with active parking assist, and roll bars. Optional equipment consists of the Air Balance Fragrance System, 19-inch AMG twin five-spoke wheels with black accents and all-season tires, augmented video for navigation, illuminated door sills, AMG floor mats, multi-contour front seats with massage feature, ventilated front seats, and air body control air suspension. The driver assistance package includes active distance assist distronic, active steering assist, active lane change assist, active emergency stop assist, active speed limit assist, active brake assist with cross traffic function, active lane keeping assist, active blind spot assist, pre-safe plus rear and collision protection, and route based speed adaptation. The exterior lighting package adds LED intelligent light system and adaptive high beam assist, the night package provides high gloss black elements on the front splitter, rear diffuser, and side mirrors. The AMG line package adds AMG body styling and brushed aluminum sport pedals with rubber studs. And the warmth and comfort package includes heated armrests and rapid heating functionality for the front seats. Last but not least is the Cirrus Silver Metallic Paint and you get a total MSRP of $87,410. This E450 Cabriolet has been updated for 2021 with a slightly different front end and revised tail lamps too. The trunk has 9.5 cubic feet of space when the top is up and a little less when stowed. Plus, there are remote releases for the 50-50 split folding rear seats in case you need a little more. As before, the acoustic soft top goes up or down in just 20 seconds, and the glass rear window is heated as well. A new engine goes with the new E450 name, and it's a 3 liter inline turbo 6 cylinder with EQ boost that makes 362 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque, up 33 horsepower and 15 pound feet respectively. A 9G Tronic 9 speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters delivers power to all four wheels. 
This new engine is more efficient too, with an EPA estimated fuel economy of 23 miles per gallon city, 29 miles per gallon highway, with a combined rating of 25 miles per gallon. Auto Academics saw an average of 25.6 miles per gallon during testing on premium fuel. Backseat ergonomics are going to be the same as last winter's review, so if you're interested, we'll leave a link somewhere up there. <laughs> Man, it's cold and windy. Now, up here, there have been some updates. The natural grain black ash wood looks fancy without being too flashy, and these seats feel great. Everyone may not appreciate the black and red, but the leather itself is soft. The biggest change, though, has to be with this steering wheel. The touch capacitive buttons have evolved, and there's now a two-zone sensor mat on the rim that lets driver assistance systems know you're still in control. No more steering movements necessary. So now that we've addressed all of that, it's time to take it out, see how it drives. Now that I've driven a couple of cars with this new steering wheel, I'm not sure how I feel about it. The functionality is still good, in fact, it's arguably better, but I think I need a little more time to get used to it, especially the volume control. Yeah, it's just a swiping down movement, but I keep muting the radio as I try to apply the correct pressure, and that's something I didn't experience with the previous controls. Now on the contrary, I have no issues with the new engine. Even though it's down one turbo from the E400, I don't notice any additional lag, and the additional power is always welcome. The engine mates well with the 9-speed auto, providing a very refined experience. The air body control air suspension does too. Outside of General Motors, Mercedes makes some of the best suspension systems right now. As you can hear, the cabin is luxuriously quiet with the top up, which is a testament to its structure and how well it seals. Top-down driving remains fairly comparable to previous years, although we didn't notice the functionality of the air scarf neck warmers quite as much this time. The air cap wind blocker worked just fine though, and this is still one of the better four season convertibles on the market. Oh yeah. So there you have it guys, the 2021 Mercedes-Benz E450 4Matic Cabriolet. It has more power, more tech, and more fuel economy. When you think about it, Mercedes is behaving as though they have some competition, but I'm not complaining. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let us know what car you think this E450 Cabriolet should be worried about in the comment section below. Finally, if you haven't done so already, by all means subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss what we have coming up next. I'm Chris from Auto Academics. Thanks for watching.